Hi everybody, welcome back. This will be our should be our last video uh, for One Desmo Three uh, Geometric Sequence. We're going to look at example nine. I'm going to read the question. It says a farmer in Saskatchewan wants to estimate the value of a new combine after several years of use. A new combine is worth four hundred thousand dollars and it depreciates by a value of ten percent each year. So if you're like me and you're wondering, okay, what is a combine? Combine is a, a machine that farmers use. I'll put a quick, quick picture up for you. Um, it's right here. Um, very expensive, um, but that's what it looks like. And uh, they use that for their crop. So um, there's a picture there. I'm just going to get rid of it. So, you know, you can do a search and figure out what things are. Uh, I know it's going to be some sort of machinery. I just didn't know exactly what, but there it is. So I'll delete that. Um, so let's look at uh, the question. We'll write down the information. I, I treat it like, just like a, like a physics question. I put all the information on the left-hand margin, especially when you're doing a word problem, um, and just write down what you have, right? So um, that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to go grab um, my term. So the first thing we're going to do is uh, the first term. So the first term is going to be $400,000. That is the value of the combine. And um, one of the, a lot of any vehicle or machine that you're going to take will depreciate over time. Um, they say like a car, for example, it's the worst investment you can make. As soon as you pull it off the lot, it, it loses its value. Um, um, but obviously for someone that needs to uh, make a living in a combine, they have to purchase these items. So it says that it's their, uh, they depreciate in value by 10% each year. So a depreciation is a little different than one of the last examples. When you have something that depreciates, that means its value is going to go down. So the R value, um, we have your R value starting off at 100%, but you're going to subtract 10% of that because it's going to go down, which is going to equal 90%. Uh, All right, um, and we're going we're going to treat that as a um, as a uh, as a fraction. So we're going to change that. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to change that, obviously, to a decimal. Oops, sorry. So we're going to change that to a decimal, um, which would be 0 decimal 9, 0, or just 0 decimal 9. You can take the 9 to 0, take the 9 off. And we're going to change that to a fraction. I like to use fractions. So the R value is now is going to be represented by a fraction. And obviously, 9 tenths is exactly how you write, right? So it's 9 tenths. So that's going to be your R value. It's because the, the next value, um, a year later, it's going to equal 90% of its value. Because if it depreciates by 10%, means it has a 90% value, right? So um, our, our value would represent 9 tenths. So that's really important that we make that. And it says, what will it be worth in the sixth year? So that's where we say that our N value is going to equal 6. So our n value is equal to 6. Okay. So we go grab our formula. I apologize for scrolling up. We'll grab our geometric sequence formula, which is on your formula sheet, as you guys are aware. All right. And then we're filling the information. So I'll just start filling it in. Tn is what we're looking for. So we're looking for when n is equal to 6. Uh, T1 is 400,000. So there's 400,000 for T1. Your R value. Uh, like I mentioned earlier, we'll change. That's going that we need our brackets, and then we're going to put a fraction inside our brackets. So we have 9 tenths, and the n is going to be 6, 6 minus 1. So I'll recopy this. And there we go. So we'll plug our, uh, we already plugged our value in, so 6 minus 1 is 5. The numerator and denominator both are raised to the power of 5. Um, so it's going to be 9 to the power of 5, and 100 to the power of 5. Again, you can get a decimal if you want. I prefer to stay with uh, fractions. All right. So we're going to insert, we need our brackets. Inside the brackets, we're going to insert a fraction, and the fractions are going to have exponents. Okay. So we have 9 to the power of 5 and 10 to the power of 5. So that's going to equal, sorry, loud noise there. So um, 
and we're going to have that bracket and 9 to the power of 5 is 59,049 and obviously that's 100,000 just add five zeros um, so now I can clearly see I just take the I, for me, if it was me doing the math, I got 400,000 divided by 100,000. So, like, without even using a calculator, I know that's going to equal 4 out front here. And that gets rid of that denominator completely. So that's the same as saying 4 multiplied by 59,049. Again, that's just your mental math. Then we're going to multiply that by 4. Again, you can calculate to however way you want. And multiplying that would give us 36, or sorry, Two hundred and thirty-six thousand one hundred ninety-six dollars. So that means that the combine has an estimated value of oh, question mark two hundred thirty-six thousand one hundred ninety-six dollars after or at the beginning of the sixth year. So that's what that means. Okay. And our last example, example 10, it's a population question. Um, so example 10, it says the population of Whoville is steadily increases by 5% each year. The population at the beginning of 2012 was 800. Determine the population at the beginning of 2020. So it's the same idea here as the previous example. I'm going to steal some... Uh, work and just change the numbers here so this would be 800 again I'm just being lazy um, it's increasing by 5% so that's 100 plus 5% which would be 105 which as a decimal is 1 decimal 0 5 um, and again we can leave that uh, like that or as a fraction it's up to you and that gives us um, n equal to 9 and the reason it's 9 is because if it's the beginning of 2012 and you're going to the beginning of 2020, that's 9 um, increases, right? Okay. Because you got 2012, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. So because, even though there's 8 years in between, that's um, 9 years. The n value would be equal to 9. Okay. All right, let's fix that up. All right, so we're looking for t to the 9. Um, our t1 value is 800. Our r value is no longer a fraction. It's 1 decimal 0, 5. And obviously that's 9. All right. So I'll get rid of these. These are old ones there. Thank you. So... Let's work it out. So the ninth term, because remember the first term is one, right? So it doesn't, you know what I mean? I can show you that uh, another time in class. Uh, that's the eighth, and then so we raise 1.5 to the power of eight. And one decimal five to the power of eight um, gives you on your calculator, it gives you um, one decimal four, seven, seven, dot, dot, dot. I would literally leave that value in my calculator Right? So I take 1.05 raised to the power of 8, it's 1 decimal 4, 7, dot, dot, dot. Leave that number in your calculator, and so it'll be exact. And when we multiply those two numbers together, we get 1181 decimal 9, 6, 4, dot, 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 Right? So um, determine the population. Obviously, if it's a person, then we're just, we'll round up. And we get 1180. So that means that if we have an increase in population over that um, amount of time, that we will get a population of 1185 with 5% increase each year. Okay, so that's it. Um, now you guys can go to the homework, as you see here. Um, sorry. So the homework is textbook page 39, numbers 1 through 6, 9 through 11, and 15. All right. Um, so I hope you enjoyed the videos. I hope they're helping. It's just another resource for us. Um, again, all the answers are, are posted online that I did write up. When I'm finished, I will type uh, post these typed up answers for all of the sections. So um, like I said, I hope you enjoyed the, uh, the videos are helping. 
and um, we'll start with one decimal for the next video. Thank you.